Have you ever thought, man, I just wish I could print, insert any item, but I cannot find the STL file for it? Well, have no fear. I got you guys covered. Today we're gonna to be discussing my top five favorite websites for STL files. STL files are probably the number one question I'm honestly asked. Uh, we all know the memes. STL, STL, got the STL files? Uh, I know, I know. We love those STL files, don't we, 3D printers? Well, today, these five websites, I'm gonna be going over them, not just, you know, hey, this is a website I use, but why it should be one that you should check out. I kind of try to measure the, you know, the ease of use, UI, what kind of files they offer, how big their library is, and sort of stuff like that. What is up, you guys? My name is Anton. I do content on all things 3D printing, and if you are just planning on skipping the description, clicking the links for all those websites that I'm gonna share, that's fine. But before you do that, if you could just smash the thumbs up button, it only takes two seconds of your time, it really helps me out. And hey, if you enjoy 3D printing content, would just like watching me create really cool, fun things like an Iron Man suit, hit the sub button down below. You won't regret it, I promise you. All right. Let's get into it. So what are the top five websites? Well, coming in at number five is Yegi. At least that's how I pronounce it. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, in fact, it's uh, not just the website that I go to immediately. I actually just go in the Google search tab and type in, let's say, I don't know, we wanna print an airplane, right? We have a Boeing that we wanna print. We really want that one. So I'll type in usually whatever it is. So Boeing airplane STL. The top one up website that's at least for me is recommended is usually Yegi. Now Yegi itself does not host any 3D files, at least I haven't seen so. But what it does nice and it's kind of cool is it kind of pulls from all websites all around the internet and puts them all in one place. And you'll see all the airplane files that you can find. You click on them and then it'll throw you over to the other websites that I'll be discussing. Uh, this is kind of a last resort thing that I go to if I'm just really struggling to find it because I just don't always get great results from this. But you know what? Sometimes it's helpful and sometimes Googling around helps and uh, that's kind of a necessary way of doing things. So Yegi is at number five. There's a reason it's last. So number four is actually pin shape. Now pin shape is one I've started to use recently and maybe my opinion of it will change and I'll move it up higher in my rankings. But Pin shape is nice. Uh, I think it's really easy to use. It loads really well for me when I like to use it. Um, they offer both paid and free files. Uh, the paid files are not too expensive. They're very relatively cheap, like a dollar, two dollars, sometimes a couple of cents. Um, they, like I said, have plenty of free files. I just like how the website works. I really like it. I just wish their library was larger. To me, uh, their library is really lacking. I don't see a lot of files on there, but once in a while I get lucky, I find something really cool, and I suggest you guys to check it out. I don't think it's talked about enough, and hopefully more and more 3D printers and 3D modelers will start using it, because um, I just really like the way it's built. So, number three. This one's actually gonna surprise a lot of people. Thingiverse, yes, the probably number one website for most is number three for me. Why is that? Well, I just absolutely hate how unreliable Thingiverse is. It is constantly overloaded with ads and super slow because of it. It's just, man, it takes forever to load anything. However, disclaimer, just because it's number three on my list does not mean it should be on yours. It's probably the largest library of STL files for free anywhere and I don't think I've ever seen a paid file on Thingiverse. So if you're looking for free files and you don't care about it loading really slowly and just being wacky and sometimes, Thingiverse is the place for you to go to. Most of the files that I print, um, if they're not from Thingiverse, they're from DO3D, which are great people, but uh, those are files aren't free, so we'll talk about them a little later. But Thingiverse is a great website that I like to use for my STL needs. I just hate how slowly it loads. Hopefully they'll kind of reduce the ads or fix their website, get it going to where it's not so difficult to navigate around. Coming in at number two, Colts 3D. I really like their website. Um, now they do also have paid files, um, a little bit more paid files than I'd like to see than the free ones, but hey, 3D modelers, it takes time to do that, it takes talent, it takes skill, so uh, you gotta pay them and appreciate that. It's cheap, again, they're relatively cheap. A um, couple of bucks, a couple of cents sometimes, and like I said, they have plenty of free ones, and I have some really cool free files on Colts 3D, and that's why I really like it. 
Um, and like I said, their website is really clean and easy to use. It loads fine and fast, and I've really enjoyed it, and that's why it's number two on my list. But it's almost basically in a tie with the number one on my list, and that is My Mini Factory. And um, that is a great website. You'll find a little bit more expensive files on there, but they're gonna be a lot more creative and really cool. Um, also free files as well, and very unique ones. The website works really well. Um, and there's plenty of other resources on that website, so I highly recommend you check them out as well. Now look, this is six minutes into this video. I already spit it out at you five websites, but you have stuck along through this video. So I'm gonna give you some bonus couple extra links that I have found to be really nice and pretty cool, and you guys should check them out. So, CG Trader. Now that one though, disclaimer is all paid files. Um, on a rare occasion, you'll find some free files, but um, and they, it, they're much better quality. I, I prefer them. You know, the Iron Man helmets that I do are CG Trader. Um, there's several other files that I've paid for, not really shown on YouTube from CG Trader. And I, I've enjoyed it. I liked it. It's a nice website for paid files. You really want a nice professional model to do. Uh, keep in mind, there's a lot of 3D modeled files there that are more for video game assets and that kind of stuff. So if you're specifically looking for STLs, you might need to sort through that, but CG Trader is great. Another one that you may not realize if you're new to the 3D printing world, Patreon is actually a very big uh, website for STL files. Now you won't be able to just go on patreon.com and search STL file. There is certain 3D modelers and creators that set up their Patreon page. And you, if you appreciate their work, usually I've found that they have a whole library of many other incredible and great prints, and I'd highly recommend them for you. So I'm not gonna give you a Patreon creator that I follow and absolutely love, um, because my taste may be different than yours, but just check around and see. If you see a good YouTube video, you see a link, don't hesitate trying to support creators on Patreon. It's a great way, it's really helpful. You know, They do their stuff out there, it takes a lot of time and work, and they're trying to make their models, it takes some skills, and they probably have some pretty good, talented, incredible models. So uh, go check those out and go support them. By the way, I also have a Patreon link. Now, I don't have any 3D models. I'm not a 3D modeler as of yet, um, but if you wanna support me in making all these videos and all that, that would be great and I'd greatly appreciate you for it. And another one that I use, obviously, as for this suit and different other larger cosplay items, Do3D. Do3D is a great website. I've really liked them. Um, they have a great also blog outlet forum where it helps you with cosplay prints, just 3D printing in general. They would sometimes do contests and all of that. You can do pretty cool weapon props from there too. And they actually do have free files. Now, majority of their files are paid, but you can get some pretty cool discounts. In fact, I have a code and you can always get a discount from that. And it helps support me actually because I get a small cut. Now, don't worry, it's not gonna charge anything more for using my link. So those are a couple of different resources you can use for your 3D printing files. I hope you find those helpful. If you think I avoided, missed, forgot a certain website, be sure to comment down below a website that you think I should check out and other people should too. I greatly appreciate it and of course, if you enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up, hit the sub button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.